doing? Good, how about you? I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking. Getting to see you today makes me happier. Okay, so now Zola, just before we get started, I know that you have only lived in America for a pretty short time compared to some people that are 11 years old. Um, do you want to yeah. share a little bit about where you've come from before America? Um, East Africa, a country called Uganda. Amazing. Do you like America so far? Yes, I really do. The weather is a bit different. It's a bit cooler and I'm liking it because in uh, Uganda, the weather was very hot. I had to put ice on my body like half the day. It's, it's a stickier heat there, isn't it? It's like, even though the temperature doesn't say it's really hot, it feels warmer, right? Yes. What's your favorite thing about America so far, do you think? There's many things I like here, but I think it's the smooth roads. What a what an interesting thing, because most people would think you might say something else. But having been to Uganda and having been caught in many roads and being stuck, I can completely understand. <laughs> yeah, it's the little things that matter. It is. It really is the little things. And sometimes those little things can grow into big things, which yes. is why we're talking today in particular. So today I wanted to celebrate your dream with you. Zola, what is your dream for your future? I want to be a professional actor, a professional soccer player, and a recognized influencer. Three pretty major influential things that you want to do. So talk me through what it is about acting that you love so much. You can decide to be um, like a millionaire, make a movie about a millionaire, or a criminal robbing a bank, or so many different things, a superhero. I think it is fun getting to be a, a million and different things, whether it is, like you said, a millionaire or a bank robber, would be the same thing. Uh, but what's interesting about what you said is it sounds like you also want to create movies. You don't want to just be in them, you want to make them. Is that right? Yes. If I could cast you today and be like, Zola Cruz, you've made it. You were in this movie. What would be the perfect movie for you to star in? Probably the trip here and like a bit of future expected goals too. So it's Zola Cruz is coming to America. Yes. Not basically. Eddie Murphy's. Zola Cruz is coming to America. <laughs> yeah. I like that, actually. I think it would be a, a very interesting one for a lot of people, too. So I like it, and probably a bit of comedy in there. Soccer player, talk to me about this. You want to be a professional soccer player? Yes. I always love playing around with the ball, messing around with it. And if you're good at soccer, you're going to get recognized by these big teams and stuff. And I personally love it. I have a lot of passion for it. Just scoring a goal or having your team there celebrating or before a match, I just love that feel. So on that note, when we talk about teams, right? So to be an actor, be a soccer player and to be an influencer. So you'll need a team to be an influencer. You'll need a team to be a super successful actor. And then you need a team to be a soccer player. Who are the people in your world that you would put on your team? The first two people that come to my mind are my parents. What is it about them that makes them great team members? They're just basically my two guardian angels. That's beautiful. And I tell you, Zola, if you have two of them, that's two more than a lot of people. So you're doing really well. It's kind of like most people when you say this might be like, well, I need a coach and I need I'll need an acting coach, I'll need a soccer coach, I'll need a makeup or, you know, blah, blah, blah. But if you've got two people that love you and believe in you and that are there to support you, all that other stuff we can sort out later. So for your acting career and dream, what are things that you could do tomorrow, today, to make that dream come true? Just keep practicing. Um, also, like recording myself while I do it in the mirror or somewhere, see where I'm going wrong or what I'm doing right, what I have to improve on, like review what is happening. Yeah, that's a good thing to do as well because then it takes away all of the stress of it. 
Like the more and more you do it, you're like, oh, please, yeah, I know how to do this. There's no drama. You don't have to worry about it. So that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Thank you. I'm going to take that note for myself. That's a good one. Uh, what about soccer playing? What's something that you could be doing right now to be getting to that professional soccer level? Just starting small academies, being in there. That small academy will see that you're good. Then they'll maybe hit up some of those bigger academies. Then they're like, yo, this kid is really good. You should check him out. Then you start going up, going up. Then at the end of the day, as you grow older, you're noticed. I think that goes back to what we were talking about. It's the small things. Like if you start small and work on those small things, slowly but surely that pays off. So a lot of people are influencers and they share food, they share clothing. I love those influences personally that are helping people, that are like making a difference in the world, that are spreading positive messages. And I already, knowing the bit that I do about you, I know that you would be definitely a positive influence. What would be some of the messages that you might want to share once you become this super successful influencer that has people's attention? If haters hate on you, just ignore them. Don't let them get to your head. Plus, if haters hate on you, they're just jealous because you're better than them or more successful. It's all the positive vibes that matter. Positivity over negativity. Because if you're positive, positive stuff will happen. If you're negative, negative stuff will happen. Thank you. Preach. I'm like, I need to do that myself today. Thank you so much. You're right. We do need to focus on the positive because the more you think about the negative, the more it just like... Burr, 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 burr. So thank you. I'm going to go off and be more positive today because of you. See, you're already being an influencer. You influence me. <laughs> Done. Tick off the list. Influencer. Are you ready for me to add this dream of yours to the wall of dreams? Yes. Okay, let's do this. Now, this wall of dreams, I can't like totally guarantee it, but I'm pretty sure it has like somewhat magical powers because I know these people behind us. I love them very much and they are doing amazing things. So, here we go, this is a, this is a picture we got of you. Look, it's you and your dream up on the wall of dreams now. It's official. So we'll probably have to check back in on this dream and see how successful the wall was. But I know you were gonna be a huge success. I don't even have to worry about it. But it's official, okay? Okay, thank you. Oh no, thank you. I'm so excited to support you and see this dream come to reality. It's a very exciting thing. Thank you. Thanks, Ola. Bye. Bye. Have a good one. You too. Keep positivity. <laughs>